Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Franchise Mode Commentary with your Calgary Flames. Here we are a, a month before the Year 9 deadline. Looking in an okay spot, but <clears throat> we'd like to be in second. But, you know, we're still a month away for the deadline, so maybe we don't make this trade with LA trying to get Anze Kopitar. But I want to see how the team does before. So, similar to the 15th here against Vancouver, but we start off the episode against Vancouver. <clears throat> So let's see what happens here. So nine to six loss. Okay, that's not a good way to start it. Uh, defenseman, six weeks. All right, Montreal and Pittsburgh Eastern Conference teams coming to, coming into town. But um, let's see what's gonna happen. Two one shootout win. Okay, Pittsburgh get a two nothing loss. Edmonton and L.A. here. Hmm, 7-3 seven, seven, loss, man, what the heck? 2-1 shootout win, San Jose, 3-1 win, or 3 nothing win, I'm sorry. Looking okay, looking decent. I think we can simulate to the deadline here. See what will happen. Vancouver, let's get some redemption. Oh, no, 4-2 loss, losing too many games, boys. Not really good. 5-1 win, alrighty. Colorado, Minnesota. 4-2 win. Alright. 7-1 win. Okay. Nice. Nice. Uh, Buff Buffalo here. 4-3 win. Good. Uh, Bru Bruins are pretty... Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing pretty good. Buffalo and Carolina. Before we are up to the deadline. No, I don't want to have my trade block. Now let's see what happens here. Oh, I see lost. It wasn't the crappy teams, man. Oh, Jesus. And LA's way out of the playoff picture now, so I think we should make this trade because we're not doing as what I thought we would be. So let's go to LA here. See how Anze Koptar is doing compared to Cody Eakin. Is he still on the trading block? Anze Koptar? Anze Koptar? Anze Koptar? No? Okay, still there. His trade value has really gone down. Not many points, lots of penalty minutes, but Drew Doughty's also here. That's interesting. Still elite, still good. Oscar Lingberg's there. Hmm. Do we trade for Anze Kopitar? I just don't see him doing getting it done, but it's not like we're we're doing that good either. Uh no, they don't got anybody. Um actually Bruce, they got to sign him or something this year? He would actually be a good third liner, but penalty minutes, man. $7 million contract, man. Holy crap. Mike Camilleri, he's still playing? Oh, not that Camilleri. Voracek, maybe we do go with Voracek. Down to an 85. Yaka Voracek. Okay, this is going to be pretty interesting here, so... Right, winners already. Uh, Cody Eakin. So, I want to retain a lot of salary because, I mean, this is just a risky trade to make. He can score some goals, which is pretty good. And that's why I want to try to make this trade. Holy crap, this is going to get to eight, eight, us to 8 million. I mean, this can go through straight up. I mean, come on. Eakin stats, 21 points, and how many games played on the third line? See, he's not having one of those seasons, it looks like, so. And I think getting Voracek would really help this team, so let's propose it. Trade accepted. Yaka Voracek is on the Calgary Flames. And we only have 5 million cap space. It's insane. Interesting. Team isn't going to be happy with that, but, you know, I feel like we need a change, so. Yep, they're happy we got a quality player, though, so that's good. Looks pretty good. Oops, excuse me. Toko's never really grown sucks oh well but interesting any other trade Kyle Posco skaters matching ball how's he doing 36 83 overall I mean that's not bad I play him on the fourth line but I don't know if he's gonna retire after this year and I'm already pretty close to the cap so Petrangelo I mean that's a bit to get bit to give up and the fact that he still has uh, two years left on his deal just uh, wait what I see Steven Stamkos there what? He has one year left on a 10 million year deal. I don't think I want to give that. Oh my god. They have players to sign. And they got Kane, man. 
That's who we trade him to. I don't know if we should try to trade for one of them. Like, who would we... Who would we be giving them up for? Like... Maybe we give them Sorel. Have... Oh, that could be a trade. Wait a wait a wait a minute. <laughs> let's go to so let's go to uh Tampa Bay here. Let's look for Steven Stamkos. Ooh. Wait a minute here. Ooh, interesting. Alright, maybe we can get Steven Stamkos here. Tampa's we're gonna be willing to give him up and I'm willing to retain all this all this I mean this is a good deal to make here. Retain a lot of salary though. Like, a lot. <laughs> That's... Oh, my God, man. Th I mean, these trades are going to be weird, but... Why not? Rookie skater. Still have Luke in, man. I mean, do I really need anything else? I mean, I guess I can just try to take a third. They're not doing good this year, so... Makes sense to make this trade. Let's propose it. Steven Stamkos. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Alright, so this is what the lines are looking like now with Voracek and Stamkos. If this team just can't do good, I'm going to be really upset. I would really... I, I just... I made these trades going to deep cup run. I, I just want them to see, do good in the regular season. Actually, let's... No, 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 no. I mean, those were huge trades. I mean, Sorrell for Stamkos. I mean... Yeah, that kind of hurts us for next year, but I just want to win the cup now. Like, nothing else I don't want to do, but... Okay, let's see. Any trades that were made besides me? Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, Sean Prince. Uh huh. So, uh, okay, so San Jose, San Jose got Nita, Nikita Kucherov. Nino Ryder went to the Canucks. Nita Ryder went to the Canucks. And then there's the trades we made. I mean, Jesus, man. Steven Stamkos. He was he is, he had like 25 goals, so wouldn't hurt to bring in some goal goal scoring. I'm, I'm hoping that's what we can do good in now that we have these uh. <clears throat> two mile goal scores, we should I should say. Uh two one shootout win. Okay, against the Hurricanes. Coming up against Ottawa here. Four one loss and offense didn't kick in. Uh New Jersey Devils, three one win. Dallas and San Jose, three nothing loss. Five four win. Detroit, one nothing win. Your guys are playing fine though. Or they were I should say. Uh, Winnipeg, 4-3 shootout loss. All right, not bad, not bad. I don't know why you guys are losing locker room chemistry. <sighs> For whatever dumb reason. Six weeks. I don't even actually have a first round pick this year, so... Don't expect to see that in the draft. Uh, soon we'll end up to the third here against the Ducks. 5 nothing win, Tampa Bay, Stamkos. Turning to his home team, 4-1, or his former team, I should say. 3-2 against the Panthers. Alrighty, Washington here. I want to give up Brayden Holby, but they're, they're having a good year. Get a 3-2 win. Winnipeg, 3-2 win. Winnipeg again. 3-1 <laughs> win. Washington again. 6-3 uh, win. Uh, San Jose coming up. <clears throat> of course they will. Snap our streak. Alrighty, they can't get 30 losses, so that's the good thing. Alrighty, 3-2 shootout loss for... Uh, Jesus Christ, man, against the Wild. It's taking so long to stop Simo in here. Alright, and there we go. Season in the books. Pretty good season. Pretty good. Not horrible, not bad. 45, 44 wins, I guess. 45? 44 wins, I mean, it's pretty good, but the 12 shootout losses definitely helped. Where do we sit? We sit in second place, so we did good... With those trades. So let's see. Who did what? Who had the team points? Johnny Goudreau with 76. Good year, Goudreau. Good year. I tip my hat. 20, yeah, 27 goals. Almost another 30 goal season. Stamkos. Okay, so he, had, he probably had like 20 goals. But 67 points, not bad. Ullman there. 63 on the third line to Shuck. Voracek. I'm really hoping that these two retire after this year. Because that would just give us so much cap space. Like, look how much cap space that would give us back. That would give us $9 million with the $5 million we already have, or $8 million. It'd be nice, it'd be nice. <clears throat> but, um, yep. Our defenseman didn't get a lot of points, but oh well. We don't have an Eric Carlson, but not a good year for Corsa Pasal. Jackman, okay year. But, like I said, I'm not, I'm not hoping to keep him long on the uh, NHL team. 
But here's the goalies for the AHL. Byron did pretty good. Didn't get enough games played. I probably should have played him. Like, just let him play. Let him be the starter. Get, like, some 70 overall guy. Apanye is leading the team in points. Hudden, okay. So, I think I should give him first line time. I mean, Apanye is not really turning out to be anything great for an 11th overall pick. So, Stasiak there. Okay, Gratchev. And it's Pepin. Whoa, Wilds up to an 81. Ryder, all right. So it's looking pretty good for the team down there. All right, all right, all right. All right check the goalie. But, uh... Let's see. I don't know. How what? Uh, 90 offense. Oh, in the AHL, man. Jesus. I mean, I don't really see how it is, but I want to give Hudden more ice time because he's low lead potential. I just want to want him to be up in the NHL as soon as possible. But other than that, Morrissey's an 81. Okay, so put him up. After that, really nobody. What about the defense? Jesus, man, all these 80s. And goalies, yep, just okay. All right, all right. I mean, if I don't have a good chance at winning the cup again this year, I'm going to be really disappointed in this team. It'd make me really, really sad. But let's, um, how are they doing, actually? They are in second, so they already made the playoffs. Let's see who we're going to be going up against in round number one. Oh, come on. <laughs> round number one there. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. How many days do it have? There we go. We're going up against Vancouver in round number one, boys. Alrighty, there you go. Round one playoffs coming up next. I will see you guys there.